The camera can't smell me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hello, Internet. It is Steph, and today I'm joined by my two daughters, Elle and Jessie. Hi! Because I'm an LGBT YouTuber, sometimes demonetized, not suitable for kids, I'm gonna teach my kids how to be gay. <laughs> because you could totally teach that, just like you could teach someone to be a different ethnicity, just like you can teach someone to be 6'5". Like, we're gonna teach them, and it's gonna work. First Thanks, things Mom. first, I noticed Jessie already has a rainbow on and in the back. Um, what do you have painted in your room, Elle? <laughs> <laughs> Color orange. I mean, that's part of the flag. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I mean, I covered my house in rainbow wrapping. Is it still there? No. It's the gay thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you each think a lesbian is? Gay. What does that mean? Gay. Okay, what do you think a lesbian is? A female who likes a female? We're gonna find out at the end. Okay. So first things first, I love what you both have on. Thank you. But gay people aren't nightmares, and I don't think St. Joseph's was a fan of the homos either. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought you guys some merch. One for you, one for you. Ooh! Hell yeah! Because you can't just be gay, you need to look gay. Normally, in past videos, I always say you should have flannel, or what I like to call a lesbian flag of honor, but we're stepping it up a notch. Buy mom's merch, link in the description. So first things first, we're gonna ask some questions. How many inches up is the G-spot? We're just gonna dive into this. A, two inches. B, one inch. C, four inches. D, a thousand miles. Cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles. Can we collaborate? Yeah, B? I don't know. You know, when in doubt, you go with C. 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 Four inches. This is actually a trick question. Everyone's G spot is I was gonna say different. that! I was gonna say that! I kinda knew that one! Not all women have vaginas, so you never know. Everyone's spot is different, everyone's preferences are different. Some lesbians don't even enjoy penetration whatsoever, and that's totally okay. Fill in the blank. On the first day, blank said, let there be light. Another word for God. Lord. Lesbians. Close. <laughs> the correct answer is Ellen DeGeneres. But gotcha. we can let that slide. I'm gonna ask you guys some terminology and we can like <laughs> learn this as we go along. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what a gold star is? Oh! Um, so... Okay. Wait, no. <laughs> do, do we guess? Yeah, you guess. Let's make something up. Um, okay. It's, it's like after... Um, after you watch Ellen, or you wear the, um... <laughs> you get a gold star. That's a good guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. I'll go with that too, but I don't think it's right. Um, <laughs> me neither, I just thought it was funny. You get, um, participation points for oh. creativity, oh. but the correct answer is a gold star is a lesbian who has never had sex with a man. Okay, that's the same thing oh. for a gay, a gay man, where the gay man has never had sex with a woman. They call it, I think they call it something similar, and then there's a, like a platinum or something if they, they got never kiss. No, if they got oh, C-section out because, because they never, they never touched a vagina machine. at all. Good job. <laughs> what does U-Haul mean? Um, the del it's like the delivery thing. Um, okay, wait, let's think. Let's think lesbian. You guys don't know this? Wise. Is it, okay, well U-Haul in real life is like a delivery yeah. thing. Yeah. So it must be a play on words. Huh. So what would is it a sex term? No. It's it's when you is it about moving in quickly? <laughs> Were you? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Two points for Jesse. She got it right and has a rainbow. Ugh. I'll give one of my points to Al. Thank you. Yeah. What is a hundred footer? Big dick. <laughs> we don't say that word in this video. Dick. <laughs> it's bad. Always say it's pussy. Oh my god, you guys, you're you're my kids. Neither, neither of those words. I didn't say pussy. No, no. <laughs> We're talking about the cat. It is actually what you call a lesbian that from a hundred feet away, you're like, oh, that's a lesbian. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> Would you consider yourself one? Um, I don't think I can judge on that. Cause I like to think I look gay, but everyone tells me I don't. Interesting. Mm. Do you know what an L-U-G stands for? Love, love under Gay. This might be a trick question for you guys. Oh. I'll give you a hint. What nation? Love under gay. It's something. <laughs> it's something that 
happens during your time of college? Lesbian. Les lesbian. Uh, it's experimented, right? What? Oh, got it! It means lesbian until graduation. So oh! Until okay. Do you know what a pillow princess is? Oh, oh yes. I okay. You go. You, you go. No, you go. Oh, all I know is that um, Shannon. <laughs> Shannon, am I allowed to say this? <laughs> uh, that means like a person who just likes just lays there. Yes, but I mean, pillow princesses don't have to just lay there. But you can be a fun pillow princess. You could get on top and do like some Cirque du Soleil stuff with your body. I don't know. Anyways, next question. <laughs> do you know what a touch me not is? Uh, someone who doesn't like to be touched down there. A touch me not is someone who does not like being touched during sex. So it means they don't like receiving anything, whether it's oral or touching any parts of their so bodies. So I get a point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then you have to know all of the classic lesbian couples of like ships, because lesbians love ships more than anything in the world. And we're not talking Thing about Veronica those. and Veronica from Riverdale. Oh Very yeah. Common one. They have a makeup scene. So we're gonna talk about some classics. So I never watched Orange is the Me neither. I just totally pretended. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Then there's also a specific way that lesbians pose for pictures. They're very co common on Tumblr, Instagram. I'm gonna teach Couples? you Couples? Like two, two lesbians or two No, singles? like this is the, like I am an independent lesbian. So this is the part of the video where the microphone stopped working, but we're gonna do our best. One of the common poses is the looking down and to the side. I don't know what we're looking at. Probably nothing. But here we see everyone doing it. Ellen Jesse tried. Now there's the ever popular, what am I doing with my hand? For professional reference, I highly suggest Gabby Dunn. Stop, double time. I think Elle's starting to get it. Maybe not. Then there's the ever popular lesbian lip bite. If you have lips and teeth, you can do it too. Now let's talk about the most important yet confusing of them all, the mirror selfie. I myself am still confused and guilty of doing it. When given a full length mirror, lesbians tend to try to make themselves as small as possible. Why? We have plenty of room. Did we forget? I don't know. You can do this. Mommy believes in you. All right, great squatting Al. <laughs> You're up Jess. You're doing really great. This is great. <laughs> Perfect. Now this is where it gets even weirder, is bathroom pictures, where you typically have a smaller mirror. It's there that lesbians decide they want their entire body shown in the picture. I don't know why lesbians enjoy putting their feet on counters. Doesn't sound clean to me. You got this. I love it. <laughs> you gotta put, I, I know you gotta kick those legs up, guys. All right. You wanna get your whole outfit, you wanna even show the foot if you can, like you really, Exactly. <laughs> There's a lot to handle. This is great. You guys are doing a really great job. Uh, I'm proud of my kids. So do you think that with all of these traits, you're a lesbian? No. The truth about being a lesbian, it isn't all fun and games like it is portrayed in media. At the end of the day, being a lesbian is about being yourself. Another <laughs> thing is that I think is so, so relevant and cool is you both are also social media influencers and roughly three quarters, 73% of LGBT youth say they are more honest about themselves online than in the real world. So you guys are actually making them more comfortable being themselves. Thanks mom. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. You're the best, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> we love our mom because she supports us no matter who we like, what we are, yeah. what our hair color is, what our breast size is. <laughs> she supports us. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where you're going with that. And that really stressed me out. Check out their channels and I will see you guys Whatever. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. YouTuber too. <laughs>